Hey guys, so today I am making like a vegetable cream of mushroom soup with just like celery and carrots in it with like seasoning and all that stuff. So right now I am about to be pouring in some vegetable broth and I'm going to let that come to a boil. So now I am going in with some salt just for flavor and to get that boil going. So right now I'm going to go ahead and start adding in my cream of mushroom sauce. Um, I did use two jars and I'm going to just start mixing that in. Okay so it does look a little funny at first but I promise it's going to all come together. Okay, so right here I did add some water inside of the cream of mushroom cans to get all the extra or excess um, cream of mushroom sauce out and to just add some water into the soup. Okay, so now I'm about to go in with all my seasonings. Um, you can use whatever seasonings you like for your soup. But if you want, I'll leave the seasonings I use down in the description box below. Okay, so right here is where I started to add my vegetables, carrots, and celery. Um, I cut them up earlier when I was prepping for dinner, so I'm about to just dump all of these in there. Um, I had to use the spoon because the soup started to pop on me. So I'm just adding in all the vegetables and after I get all the vegetables in, I'm just going to give it a good mix, a very good mix. Okay, 
so here is where you're going to see me get ready to turn the stove down to low i put it on very low heat and let it just all come together <laughs> Okay, so now I'm just straightening up the kitchen, letting the soup boil or simmer down and everything come together, the flavors and everything. Um, I also did add some extra seasoning into the soup. I added some seasoning salt and some black pepper just to give it some extra flavor. Okay, so right here you see me with this um, whole grains bread. This was the bread that I wanted to use that I had. I didn't feel like ordering from Instacart, so I just used this bread. Um, and I put it in the oven and I let it bake so it can get crispy, so we can dip our soup in it. You'll see how it comes out. It was still very good. Don't judge. Okay, so right here is the part where I am grabbing a bowl so that I can see if the carrots and celery is ready and soft the way that I wanted them. And the way that I brought that spoon back over there, it was not ready. It was not ready at all. So, yeah. <laughs> let it cook, y'all. Let it cook. Oh, it just overflowed I don't know why probably because I cut the heat up a bit too high which was the wrong thing to do oh. didn't mean to do that okay so obviously I cut the heat up and the pot overflow well almost overflow I kind of made a mess but I got everything back together what you see on the counter is me trying to eat a snack just don't worry and I also put some more carrots and celery so that I can taste test again and it was ready okay so right here as I was saying before I added more seasoning for flavor because you know I don't want no bland soup and it actually came out good okay so the bread was done and I took it out the oven so right now I'm getting ready to add in the egg noodles and I'm gonna let those cook down I did not add the whole bag like I did last time because that was just like the wrong thing to do so I'm just adding in the egg noodles and these are so good y'all the soup oh, bomb so I'm just mixing it all in mixing it all in get into it
y'all see my baby bothering me always bothering me when i'm trying to make dinner <laughs> hey guys so that pretty much wraps up the video um my daughter started to bother me and this is how the soup looks and it was actually delicious and thank you guys for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe bye guys